So, is it just me or did John Connor's makeup look really terrible in this trailer? I understand it might not be a finished effect, but that's a practical effect. It, it looked really bad. I mean, it, it's a scar. I mean, I don't know. I remember it kind of looking okay in older movies. Yeah, but this one was like very noticeable that like, I was like, that's fake skin. Like, I'm not, like, you know, a person that knows that much about behind-the-scenes, like, production or whatever for makeup, but, like, that looked kind of bad. I mean, it's not terrible, but eh, it's not perfect either. But yeah, maybe they'll digitally... We'll see. Probably, it. probably not. It, but it doesn't look like he's in the movie that much anyway, so whatever. Just at the beginning, or if there's, like, a twist and it's like he's the villain. That would be fucking weird. Five, four other movies where it's like John Connors, this great man, this great man. I'm Skynet. <laughs> he's like, he's like deliciously evil. He's like a product of Skynet. He is Skynet. Yeah. Oh. It's like, it's like a Matrix thing. Like, something like that. He's like a causality loop. He needs to exist in order for Skynet to take over the world. Pretty much, he for does. For him to Skynet. <laughs> And become Master Mold. Or become V'ger. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Moving on. And finally. The one I'm looking forward to the most, honestly. I'd say the best one out of the three we're talking about right now. Jurassic World. Yes. Like, yes, the horror movie with dinosaurs. Like, when I first heard about this movie, I was skeptical. Jurassic Park 3 was fucking terrible. The first one, still to this day, is one of my favorite movies. For a long time, it was my favorite yeah, the first movie is great, and the effects and everything look awesome, and I've... Aged like I haven't wise. seen the second one, but I think I, the second I've seen the okay. third one, and the third one... Wow, the third one's kind of silly. It's ridiculous. It reminds me of, like, Godzilla on Monster Island, just because, like, there's, like, a little kid and stuff. <laughs> okay, and it's not that bad. And then there's, like, a dinosaur that talks. Well, that was in a dream. Right. But then again, in Godzilla's Revenge, it was also a dream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, but to be, when I, I think part of the reason why I started to get excited was Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, definitely. Because Chris Pratt was awesome in that, and I'm like, wait, he's gonna star in Jurassic World? That's kind of awesome. And then when I read the premise, which is basically ten years to prior to the start of this movie, they opened up. Jurassic World. They did it. They're on the original island. They did it. They succeeded where John Hammond failed. This new company came in. They have a fully realized, fully operational theme park. And people are no longer interested because <laughs> that's... People get jaded fast. They're very like, fast. Dinosaurs. Like the director was saying that... These dinosaurs are not even scientifically accurate. The director had this sort of idea in his head where it was just like, you just have like a T-Rex in the background. People were just on their phones like, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's kind of what would happen. And every year they apparently try to up their game with new, different creatures. And now they've gone crazy and created what I call a super dinosaur. <laughs> An unholy super dinosaur. <laughs> Rumored to be some kind of raptor T-Rex hybrid or some weird shit like that. Some now, I hear it's supposed to be smart. Well, they said that in the trailer. So yeah, yeah. I mean, jeez. This movie... It, lo it looks okay. I mean, it reminded me, like, oh yeah, Jurassic Park's like a horror movie. <laughs> and then, like, that ending shot made me like, okay, this is gonna make or break this movie if what is <laughs> happening on that ending shot is what we're all hoping for. Are those trained raptors with Chris Pratt that he commands, or are they chasing him? I hope they're trained raptors. There is a third theory, though, <laughs> that they're all just sort of running from something. Oh, well, I hope they're trained raptors. He has, like, commands or something, tells them to do stuff, or maybe he has a little whistle. Well, supposedly he's, like, the raptor trainer. Yeah, or, he's, like, like the dinosaur like rip whisperer or something, right? Something cool like that. <laughs> like, the thing that I'm hoping for, they have their little uh, viral website. And yeah. on the viral website, you know, bio is for all the dinosaurs in the park, and one of them is the T-Rex. And the T-Rex has very distinctive scars that must might have been caused by raptors oh, so long ago. Oh, man. I want this movie to have not just the T-Rex, but I would love it if it really was the original T-Rex from the original movie. And then that T-Rex fucking... 
fought that D-Rex thing and fucking killed it and roared and it was like my inner five-year-old jumping for joy. Just straight up goes kaiju. <laughs> Let them fight. Yeah. That, I mean, if it's not that, whatever, but my inner child really wants it to be that. If it's not, I won't hold it against the movie. I'll judge it for itself. And some of this movie, it's kind of almost like... I wouldn't say retread, but it's almost like a spiritual remake of the original in some ways. Except it's like, the park is bigger, it's yeah, more people like there, the it's active, it's not in development. Yeah, that's what I remember about the original one, like, it was just like, this they're, was like the first time they're doing it, and like... They're testing it like, still, it's, it's like, not open we yet. We don't let the public in, but like, we have like, full-fledged dinosaurs on here and like, stuff. Like, it's sort of like the best, like, I would never want a Jurassic Park movie. But nah. this this is the the, be, the best of both worlds because you get yeah. that sort of spiritual remake, but you're still continuing the story in a way that I think is pretty cool. Definitely, um, and yeah, I, it's exciting. I am stoked that yeah. the, I mean, nothing against the Avengers, but I this is the movie I'm looking forward to the most next year. Not me. Avengers is the one I'm looking forward to the most, but still. Fuck I'm Avengers! T Rex rules! Uh, I'm excited about this movie too, but yeah. I mean, it, it, it's it's a nostalgia thing. I have. It, there's no. It seems like it's going to be one of the better movies coming out this year. Like there's for me, there's no nostalgia for the Avengers because I didn't grow up on Marvel superheroes. I grew up on DC superheroes, but I also I grew up on Jurassic Park. So the idea of another Jurassic Park movie that's good just makes me excited. Now. Let's hope it's good. I I want it to be good. Because <laughs> the last two. The, the second one was okay. In Never my seen opinion. the second one. We'll, My friend told we'll me about that. it, and he's like, he's like, he's like, uh, you gotta see the second one, Dinosaur in a City. <laughs> that <laughs> and I'm like, is awesome. I'm like, really? He's just like, yes. <laughs> yeah, that part's awesome. That's like the best part of the movie, I think. Oh wow. Oh, there's other cool parts too, but that's like, that's like the big ending sequence. <laughs> it's like a King Kong type of thing. Pretty much, but King Kong took that from the old silent movie version of The Lost World. Ah, okay. Where they took like a, a sauropod dinosaur and it went on a rampage in London. Huh. That so, is so, the godfather so of what you're kaiju telling me movies. is nobody has any original ideas anymore. <laughs> no one ever had any original <laughs> ideas. Ever. Because okay. King Kong basically ripped off The Lost World. Right. Well, in any case, uh, yeah. Yeah. Movie trailers. Da 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 <laughs> You know what I've been thinking? Okay. We did that show in your house. Yes. And then we got fired from that show. That was also in your house. Yeah by that guy that may or may not exist in the real world. But, I don't live in your house. Correct. What am I doing here? I'll see you. Bye.